I have been waiting for so long to review this, and now I finally get to review this. This might be the happiest day of my life. I'm not kidding. Like, like I'm like, this is probably the peak of my existence. I get to review this movie. You guys get to share this special moment with me. This brings tears to my eyes. How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing a movie called Whiplash. It came out in 2014, which is last year I know. And this is a very important movie to me. Uh, for three reasons. One, I got this on DVD. I rarely get movies on DVD. What I do is because I love them a lot. Second reason is because I saw it in theaters. As you can see by this ticket. It was an R-rated movie and it was the first time I ever saw an R-rated movie in a theater with my parents. And it was a great experience that I'll probably never forget for the rest of my life. And the third reason why I love this movie so much is because it is about a drummer. It's about a drummer. And I play the drums as well. Like I said before in my arm criticism review, I'm in Drumline. And I love music and all that. And this was a very special movie for me. And I cannot wait to review it for you guys. So it stars Miles Teller, J.K. Simmons, and Paul Reiser. It's basically about a young musician named Andrew Neiman. He goes to this uh, music conservatory, Schaefer. Um, and he plays the drums, the jazz drummer. And he's just starting out, but he wants to be one of the best. And he's really good, but he just has to be like, perfect. He wants to be perfect. And his conductor, J.K. Simmons' character, sees that in him, and he pushes him very hard, and he's also a strict guy. He's like really, like, it's hard to characterize him as a good guy. He's really mean, and he throws stuff at him. And this kind of, like, like emotional battle between them is really the main plot of this movie and I love it so much. Writing in this movie is probably its biggest accolade you could probably give it to. Also the acting, but I'll get to the writing first. It's also written by the director, Damon Giselle, who um, first time director I think. He also directed another movie before that and wrote some, wrote some movies, but this is probably his best movie up to date. Um, it had such great insults, especially by J.K. Simmons' character. It was hilarious, but he kind of felt rude and kind of mean for laughing at them because they were so insulting. But also they were ad libbed mostly, also they were written as dialogue. And just the story itself just kind of seemed very connecting to me, really personal, because I just love to play the drums as well. Um, the acting is probably the second best part about this movie, maybe even the first, I don't know, I can't really like rank it, because they're all so good. J.K. Simmons probably gives the best performance of 2014 as a supporting actor, and he won the Oscar. He just has, he's just so like mean and very irritating and like almost intimidating and it's kind of scary because he has so many layers to his character. One moment he's crying when he's talking about some musician and then the next you know he's like nice guy who's trying to comfort Andrew when he's talking about his past life and then he's just beating him down so hard. He's throwing things at him and he's just screaming this horrible insult to him and it's just amazing to see how J.K. Simmons could do that. He and Miles Teller he was amazing as well. He's the main character, and you know, it's kind of hard to helm a film like that, but he did an amazing job. And I, he he, uh, he did most of the drumming for the movie, and did some of the stunts as well. And like, he kind of felt, I kind of felt the kind of connection to him as well, because you know, he, he seemed like a young guy, and he kind of seemed nervous, and his character was a very nervous and shy guy. He doesn't really talk to a lot of people. But really, I just thought his performance kind of conveyed such like integrity, but also like he was really like, into what he was doing, and he was really into the drums. And also Paul Reiser played a really good dad. He was really supporting, and I just kind of felt good that there was a supporting dad in this uh, really good movie. And the directing of this movie was amazing. Uh, there's this one scene where it's just so tension, there's so much tension. It's not even when he's talking to Andrew, it's when he's talking to his other kid. And you never know what's going to happen. And also, when he's directing scenes of drumming, it just has such a good scope of what music is and how the editing, the editing in this movie was probably some of the best editing I've ever seen. The one for, uh, one for the Oscar, and it just kind of felt like this jazzy mood. It had like cuts and cuts, and then little like sways and all that. It just felt so musical. Like the, the directing kind of felt like musical. It felt like it was a piece, like a, a music piece, and it was just really made well. And the, and for writing and directing, Damon Giselle, I gotta give him a hand. He was amazing. And also the soundtrack of this movie is it's also jazzy, and I always listen to it. I practice the songs, and this movie has prop like a, a lot of people praise this movie for this. It has probably the best ending to any movie there has ever been. It is so interesting, it's very like fascinating, but also 
it's like thrilling. When I, when I watched it, and I, I always watch it every single time, I always get butterflies in my stomachs at the end because I felt, man, that was just an amazing movie. I just loved it so much. I made the pre-review kind of based on it. Some shots were from the movie, and the editing technique was from the movie as well. And it just inspires me to be like in filmmaking and also in reviewing movies because I always love talking about this movie. This movie deserves nothing but an A+. If anyone kind of criticizes it, then I kind of get a little crazy because, you know, I love it so much. It's one of those movies where I think, no, you're wrong. This is an amazing movie. You've got to see this. You are so wrong. But subscribe, comment below. Tell me what you thought about Whiplash. And um, otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.